Hey guys, it's Army Church from Game Tech, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use your PS4 controller with your PC. So first of all, you'll need to download this DS4 tool. I'll leave a link to that in the description, and I will probably be hosting it. So once you've done that, open it up. It should be in a zip file, and just extract it to wherever you want, somewhere where you'll remember, hopefully. So then open up this folder. Once you've opened it up, you should open this up and have a read through if you're not sure what to do. Or you can just follow what I do. So what you'll need to do is if you've never used this before and haven't got the drivers installed for this, go into Virtual Bus Driver and double click SCP Driver or right click Run as Administrator so all permissions are provided. Then all you need to do is click Install. So just hit yes and click install. I've already got this installed so I don't need to do that. So once you've done that you can have another read through this if you're not sure what to do again. So this is the part that you need to do if you've never done this before and then this is the part you do afterwards. So once you've done that, once you've installed the actual drivers, now what you need to do is actually plug in your controller. So hook it up from both ends, I'm just going to plug it in now and just put it into any USB port you normally use so I'm going to plug it in right here there we go, should be plugged in I think, I'm not sure okay, <clears throat> I plugged mine in should detect if it's your first time that it should start installing drivers let the, drivers <laughs> let the drivers install for the first time and then what you'll need to do is find this, right click run as, as administrator and it'll open up, it will detect your controller immediately so it will detect your controller immediately and it's pretty much ready to use <coughs> if you want proof that it works, just to test hold L2 and R2 and press the touchpad down that will set touchpad to true this means you can use your touchpad as a mouse so I'm doing that right now it's like using a laptop even though my computer is a desktop so when you tap it clicks and you can just move it around you can double click do anything you want pretty much so to prove that this actually does work with games let's click this this is gonna be a bit hard I'm actually ah. there we go and just cause 2. Okay, and we're in, so just use the touchpad to, whoops, don't want to click that, this is quite hard controlling this. Head over to server browser, I'm not used to using a laptop with a touchpad, so yeah, if you are, this will be really useful and fun to use. So log on to any server you want on whatever game you're playing, I'm going to test this out on just cause. And all you need to do is just get rid of anything on the side that might require controls that aren't actually on the controller. So, that's H. Okay. Now, there we go, we're falling down and I'm actually using my controller here. I can even feel the rumble right now. Because this is an Xbox compatible game. Any Xbox compatible, Xbox 360 controller compatible game will work really well with this. So, yeah, that's what you should do. This is Xbox. 360 compatible and let me just run you through the controls right now before we start what you need to do is to move you just use right uh, well to look around you use right stick to move you use left analog stick and to switch weapons you press the up arrow on the d-pad to grapple use l1 to shoot use r2 um, l2 is to scope when using a sniper rifle and that is it pretty much oh and x to open your parachute or jump which is what i'm doing right now just jumping away and well there is no control to actually run i think as far as i know there isn't press triangle to get in a car so if you want to run you just have to hold shift like i just did there and if you want to select and buy anything you're gonna have to use the mouse or touchpad but to drive a vehicle, it's just normal controls. It just switches around things to make it fit. And same with an aeroplane as well, actually. You may have thought that or not. It is the same. 
like you spawn a plane. Same controls pretty much. So just hold R2 and go forward and L2 to break, etc. That's pretty much all you do. So I could technically land right here pretty easily. And the braking is actually really fast. It's faster than using a keyboard for some reason. I don't know whether that's game related or whatever, but it just works. I'm not sure how, which is always a good thing. <laughs> so that's it. You can use this on any Xbox 360 controller compatible game because how this w the DS4 thing works is it tricks the computer into thinking that you're actually using an Xbox 360 or Xbox One controller. Thanks for watching guys and that's it. Look out for more videos coming soon from Game Tech. Always remember to like, comment and subscribe. I really like to hear your thoughts. See ya.